advocate for farm to table and also advocate for spring to glass. I like it. Water is life, right? But what does that mean? Here on the land, not only are we lucky enough to have a spring that keeps our ponds filled, even during droughts, it's even clean enough to drink. But when I was growing up in New York City, water we drank came from a tap or in plastic bottles at a local bodega. In a perfect world, we drink straight from the source. I recently met with Chris Sanborn from Alive Water to talk about the value of seeking, sourcing, and drinking the best spring water available. Bottled spring waters, almost every single one, are processed with ultraviolet light and or ozone gas. The problem with that is it potentially destroys healthy microbes, probiotics. So I started going to local springs that I found on Find a Spring and I just immediately felt amazing. Could really feel the difference from alive water, just straight out of the earth. We always tell people if you have a great spring with good minerals that's nearby, use that. Talk to me about the, the water itself. A lot of these springs have absolutely zero contamination. I think they're actually a primary water source, which is this idea that the water is created in the Earth's crust through a chemical reaction, and then it comes up as brand new fresh water that's never even been on the planet before. It's like this Earth's natural way of cleansing and purifying itself. I did not know that. I just assumed that all the water on the Earth has been here, created however long ago, and it just cycles between different phases, right? The different yeah. phases of water. It gives us optimism that the Earth can purify and cleanse itself. And one of the ways that we know that something is primary water is by testing with, for radioactive fallout because when they started detonating atomic bombs, it left radioactive isotopes in the atmosphere. So most water has this in it when you test it. Primary water doesn't, so that's how we know. I'd love for you to come check out the springs that we have here on the property and get your feedback. My friend Jen Isabel, prolific water expert, is gonna join us. Even better. So this has been uh, my focus for the past while about a year we've been getting this part of the land restored and our goal is to take all that water slow it and then charge the land here in the aquifer so that we can utilize it on its way to the river ultimately and this is one of the systems that we've built to, to help do that it's like victor schauberger said his number one rule is comprehend and copy nature when it comes to any kind of water treatment or you know if you don't have access to a spring and you want to take regular swag water and bring it back to spring quality. We can mimic what happens at a spring, or in this case, mimic what happens at the wetlands and give water what she needs. Water is something that I'm just now introduced to, that people are actually seeking at great lengths to find the best possible water. Especially here, the watershed and the, you know, the springs in this region are really getting taxed, not only because of the droughts, but because of the the influx of human beings that are tapping those resources. If we were to tend to each watershed and understand water's needs and fulfill those needs, then just the above ground hydrological cycle alone would be more than enough to meet all of humanity's water needs. We wouldn't even need to drill under the surface to tap the aquifers that we've already tapped with those wells that are running dry. If you can find a spring head, like where it's actually coming out of the earth, that makes it more likely that there could be a good place to drink from. I would test it first, Yeah, <laughs> but looks clear and could be great. You look at something like reverse osmosis water, it's really pure in the sense that there's hardly anything in there, but it can actually strip minerals from your body. Water is the universal solvent, so it wants to just go back to its natural state and yeah, it can be really dangerous. There are so many things happening at a spring that we have to understand and then recreate. 
So you can start with something like reverse osmosis or distilled if you really need to, if you're starting with a really toxic water and you have to clean it somehow. And we need to have those maturing influences when she's not just taking from our bodies, leaching the minerals like you were talking about. I think that's a great way to conclude. Thanks so much for coming out. Thanks so much for having me.